I'm literally just witnessing a fight right outside my window. People are literally fighting about what I want to talk about in this video. He's like yelling about the state. Home. Just like a quick little update on the trailer. I've made some mods that I wanted to share with you all because oh, I just tripped over Obi, <sighs> buddy. Um, we are in a parking lot right now, hence the blackout shades are up because I like the privacy, and it just makes my nervous system kind of chill out when you know it's dark. So, but I love this skylight. I've been using it a lot and everything is sealed up like i've had no leaks i'm so happy we've lived in this for like a couple months now so one of the first things that i wanted to do was take down the uh pull out bunk because my dogs did not want to be up there everyone was like oh well, that's cool your dogs can sleep up there no they were like screw that we don't like it up there and plus that was like the heaviest part of the trailer those those shelves that big wood slab was definitely like weighing it down I, it's got a, it had to have been like a few hundred pounds at least and my goal was to really lighten up this trailer i really wanted to utilize the space and make sure it's as light and functionable as possible you know because i'm off-roading out here you know so i feel like i got it pretty light now like i've definitely seen a difference Another thing that I did, I really kind of simplified the dinette, um, the booth. It used to come like all the way out here. And then there was like this other foam that kind of you sat up against. But um, I decided to shorten it so that I could have these end tables. And that way I could have, you know, tables to use no matter what, if the bed's up or the dinette is up. Um, it kind of just opened it up and gave it way more space without all those cushions. I got these ones instead. Um, I also got house plants, which really kind of ho homied it up. <laughs> and um, just an update on the bathroom, because I talked about that. I did get the compost toilet, which has been working out really well. So the shower thing, actually, I've decided to go with a different shower so that there's like a pump system and it actually like, you know, you have that free flowing water. And I put little lights up there because it's just, it feels cool, you know, when you're, when you're in there taking a hot shower. I've had just some really good times in this thing already. I'm making some quinoa. I don't know about you, but my favorite thing is like soup with quinoa in it. It just makes me feel so good. Right, puppy? Yeah. <laughs> um, so what's the, what's the main thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word California? <sighs> yeah, I know. Um, politics, right? Or, um, the beach. Um, whatever comes to mind, let's just say that this state has come under a lot of fire. A lot of people are upset. They don't like what happened here and, you know, it's something that we all have to live with. Decisions that we made as a collective and we're all now experiencing that. So I think it's time to shift something, you know, more into the area of what would be more comfortable for most human beings on this planet. Because for me, I have experienced California in its more wild state and i will say there are free parts and wild parts of california still this it's a massive place filled with lakes and mountains and oceans and i know you're thinking well yeah it's all regulated too and i'm and i'm here to say that i feel like i've experienced some sort of alternate reality here where there is a way to be here and not be overruled by the bureaucracy. And um, for me, it has been this balance between the two, like walking in two worlds at one time. I am, you know, standing up for my rights, but at the same time, it's almost like we still have to face the old systems. We still have to kind of, you know, pay parking right now like I had to. and. Um, 
balancing the two and knowing that, okay, we do have the freedom, we do have, you know, the ability to create something else like we can come together as a collective and say okay this this isn't working like why do we need to be so forceful on other people's rights maybe we don't have to control so much and let other people govern themselves to a certain extent where we can all live in peace right and um yeah that's just something i wanted to talk about why i chose this state to you know do my work in at this time is because i am in service to gaia i do work for this planet and um, when i felt guided on a heart and soul level to kind of anchor into this matrices i knew it was because there's a split here it's not completely overrun fully and we still can you know come in and anchor ourselves and almost like split off into another world choosing that freedom choosing nature as our sanctuaries and not locking that aspect up and you know making it inaccessible you know to to people so i know there are like freer states i lived in new mexico which is like my heart <laughs> i i can't wait to go back and oregon is doing it i don't know that state they just kind of let you live and that's how it should be i mean we're not perfect we don't know how to fully you know have these systems create themselves out of nowhere we don't know what we're doing yet but we should at least be able to take those steps you know go live in areas that you want to live in regardless of what you're being told about how expensive it is or you know all of this stuff just go and be where your soul tells you to be and light it up light it up and do your work and be there for your purpose because you being there is a step in the right direction it's a step in a new timeline for the new earth Okay, so I kind of want to take you on this journey and bear with me. This might be a little out there for some of you, but I've just been experiencing like this new beautiful healing art of ocean dancing. Now, I know it sounds a little weird, but it is just so amazing if you let the ocean and the tides and the flows all of that energy to just kind of move through you on an ecstatic level. Have you ever heard of ecstatic dance? Okay, so it's sort of like that, but it's with the ocean.